Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity and we're here today to look into the difference between a sine wave inverter system and a modified sine wave inverter system and down here is a modified sine wave inverter system and we're going to use the AC electrical system as a stand-in for our sine wave inverter system so this is what a sine wave inverter system looks like. So you get a nice smooth symmetrical sine wave on the voltage waveform. And the modified sine wave is very different as we're going to see later. It uses square waves to try and simulate a sine wave. And we're going to use this standard AM radio to see what the electromagnetic interference difference is between the two systems. So I'm going to turn it on. And while we're doing this video, just remember to listen to the noise coming off the radio. So the radio is on. It's tuned into static. So we're on AM530 and there's no radio station at that band in Tucson, Arizona. And we're going to switch on the light to put some current on the system. So this is a resistive load, 60 watt light bulb. And as you can see, we have what looks like one waveform, it's really two waveforms. We've got a red waveform showing the voltage and we've got a yellow waveform showing the current. And they're almost identical. And that's what you'd expect on a sine wave inverter system. And if you listen to the radio, you can hear that it didn't change. So I'm gonna stay quiet for a few seconds so you can hear it. Okay, so we're gonna switch off the light. We're gonna switch over to the modified sine wave. Now this is powered by a 12 volt car battery. So we're converting 12 volts DC to 120 volts AC. So, that whistling you can hear is the radio. So, we have electromagnetic interference on the radio with no load. So, you can actually see that we have a lot of noise on the current waveform. And we can see the square wave coming out of the modified sine wave inverter. So. When people talk about a modified sine wave inverter, this is what the waveform looks like. So that's the voltage waveform. So let's turn on the light and see what happens. So that's our current waveform. And as you can see, it's got a lot of electrical noise on it. So it's something to be very wary of with these modified sine wave inverters is that they can create a lot of dirty electricity and a lot of electromagnetic interference into your environment. And extended exposure to electromagnetic interference is probably going to lead to radio wave sickness and possibly electromagnetic hypersensitivity in the human. And it is for this reason that I don't recommend people to purchase modified sine wave inverter systems for their off-grid homes because long-term exposure to this is probably going to make you quite sick. So that's the difference between a sine wave inverter system and a modified sine wave inverter system. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.